Edna Carr High School, same old song. Talented, fast, well coached, and will compete for a state championship. Uh, I don't know when this talent's going to run out. I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. But it's hard to prepare for a team that has several guys that run 4-4-5 in the 40 and look 4-4 in a game. Uh, the surprise of the team is a kid I watched last year who's a senior now, Jameer Jackson, a defensive end. This kid could end up with 20 sacks before the year is over. He's the kind of guy that can go to an SEC school, and no one was recruiting him as a junior, but he's gained a lot of weight, and he can run a 4-6 at 225, 6'3". Buck defensive end, you know what I mean? And then they've got Kafani Simmons, one of the top skill guys in the city that runs a 4-4. Ronnie Jackson, one of the top young running backs in New Orleans. Devin Bush, probably the best junior corner in the United States. And Skylar Perry, another D1 prospect at quarterback, the third one in a row, who's 6'3", 210, runs a 4-5, dual threat. And again, the reason why I think Edna Carr could go to the state championship again in 2017. McDonough 35 is one of the class act programs led by Wayne Reese who's been there for a long time. One of the legends of the city of New Orleans. Frank Daggs, one of the great D-line coaches, their staff. They do a great job. You know, everybody talks about McDonough 35 offensive players. Talman Gardner came out of the years ago, went to Florida State. They've got Sa Martin at LSU. They've got a DB at Florida for the Gators that's going to play this week against Tennessee. They ha they're known for defense and their toughness, and, and I saw this for myself over the years going to practice in some of their games, but their defense, that is where they're going to win their games. Their offense, yeah, Lawrence Keyes is one of the best skill guys in the slot that you'll see play. It runs a 4-4. Jared Miles runs a 4-4-0. They're both track guys, too. Two of the best receivers on one team in the city of New Orleans. And then they got Dewan Jenkins, who's 210, 215, a fullback, six foot tall, very athletic. And then they have an athletic quarterback, three year starter, LeJean Howard, 6'2, 185, might sign as a quarterback or a receiver or free safety, kind of like LaRon Landry did at Hanville a few years ago. He was a quarterback, played free safety at LSU, and the rest is history. And Joe Fouché, a DB, one of the best hard hitting safeties in the state. This guy comes up and when he hits, I mean, it's, it's, it's like the NFL. This guy, you don't want to catch a pass in his area, his domain. Joe will make you pay for any catches. He reminds me of a couple of defensive backs that you see in Baton Rouge. One of them is at Scotlandville committed to LSU, but McDonough 35, this will be a great game, two talented teams. It's like an old song. Everybody we talk about in New Orleans is super talented. There are over 100 prospects in the city of New Orleans alone for the class of 218. That's remarkable.